Hi, in this video we will take your knowledge about Go High Level to the next level. We will be focusing on creating a double opt-in campaign fully automated. But why do you need it? The most common example is when you offer a newsletter. In many countries it's mandatory to obtain an additional active confirmation from your newsletter subscriber. But even if it's not mandatory, there are several advantages to it. The most important benefit is that you won't be sending emails to addresses that don't exist or aren't in use. I will now show you exactly how we do this. For our project, we need two tags, a form, an email template, a trigger link and an additional subpage for our website. Please don't give up now. It might sound very complicated, but it's simpler than you think. And it's worth watching this tutorial because you only have to set up the automations once and then you can use them forever. First. We will start by setting up our tags. To do this, we go to our sub account, click on settings at the bottom left, and then you have the option to select tags. Now we click on new tag at the top right, and the first one is named subscribe newsletter. You can choose the name freely, just make sure you can remember it. With this, we tag the prospects who have signed up for our newsletter but haven't yet confirmed their email address. Next, we want to identify those who have also completed the double opt-in. So if they have received a confirmation email and confirmed their email address with it, we need another tag to distinguish between the two types of customers. Click on new tag and name it confirmed newsletter. Create. That was pretty straightforward and we've already completed a fifth of the process. Next we will create a form that allows visitors to sign up for the newsletter on our website. To do this we go back, click on marketing, then on sites and at the top you will see forms. Then you go to the builder and click on add form. Start from scratch or choose a template. As you already know from high level there are many great templates that you can easily modify. For this video we will start with a new form. On the left side you can drag and drop to decide what you want in your form. We will include the full name, email address, maybe the phone number and a button at the end for the customer to submit their entry. You can click on each field and for example change full name to just name. You can modify everything as you wish. The placeholder in the middle can also be named for example John Doe. You can easily create this and then click save at the top right. I have already created one, so I won't make a new one. I also named it newsletter. I would always recommend this so you can easily find it among the other forms. For this test, I only included the full name, an email address and the submit button. Now we have completed the second part. Next, we need an email template. For this, go to marketing, then emails and you can create one under templates. Again, you can start from scratch or use a pre-made template. To save time, I've already prepared an email template. I also named it newsletter to easily find it again. My keyboard glitched at confirm. It looks better now. And then you save it. Of course, you can add your logo and adjust the images and fonts according to your preferences. And then you have a perfectly optimized template. Lastly, we will go to trigger links on the far right. Here you can click on link and we only need one trigger link. This link is used to embed it in the email template and thanks to this link you can track whether the subscriber has clicked on it and thus confirmed their email address. For this click on add link at the top right, name it and then create a link URL. In my case I choose https martindelving.de slash confirm. I'm just showing this as an example. I won't save it because I've already prepared it. And lastly I mentioned that we need a sub page. For this go to sites, websites and in my case it's martindaving.de. Here I've created this confirm page. Click on add new page and you can name it confirm and the pass is also confirm. I saved it and this is how the page looks. Thank you very much for confirming your email address. Now we have everything we need, but we still have to go to marketing and adjust our email template because the confirm button must also have the trigger link we created. Very important. Don't just type in the link, but click on this icon. This way you are always on the safe side. Scroll all the way down and you will see trigger links. If you've set it up as we did, you'll see confirm. Click on it and it will look a bit different than the regular link but you can be sure that your embedded link is now active on this button. Save the template. 
Now comes the really exciting part. We will integrate everything into two automations, ensuring a seamless process for the future. We assume that you've already embedded your form for newsletter registration on your website. If you don't know how to do this, I'll quickly show you. We go back to the Martin Delving page and want to set up the option for visitors to sign up for the newsletter on our homepage. With a few clicks, you can easily add a form, select the newsletter form and save everything at the top right. Now we go to automation section. Create workflow. You can check if you want to use a pre-made automation to save some time. To learn everything in the best possible way, I always start from scratch and try to do everything myself. Every automation starts with a trigger, which we enter here at the top. And this trigger is the origin of everything. Only when this trigger even occurs due to a specific customer action, does the entire automation process begin. I named this workflow newsletter workflow number one. And the very first trigger is when the customer fills out the form because they want the newsletter. Click on it and you can either enter it in the search bar or scroll through it. I would always recommend taking the time to look at all the options because you can get very interesting ideas from it. If you scroll down a bit, you will see contact actions and the form submitted. That's exactly what we need. Then name it for clarify, for example, subscription newsletter, add filters. And then you can say form is newsletter. Now the automation knows to start as soon as this form is filled out, save trigger. Now the workflow needs to know exactly what to do when this trigger occurs. We click on it and first want to tag the subscriber so that we can immediately recognize that they have signed up but have not yet confirmed their email address. Now click on add contact tag, then on select a tag, and then we named it subscribe to newsletter and save action. Next, they need to receive an email to confirm everything. Here, pretty much at the top, you'll see send email. Here I enter from name Martin, from email high level at delving.de, subject, please confirm your email address. We now search for the newsletter template, and then you can test it with your own email to see if it works. I will quickly show you where you can see if your trigger link also worked. Then click on save action. Now we are done with the first of the two workflows. Now you want to start with a new trigger. Click on save and publish here so the workflow is published. Now we move on to the next and last workflow. Create workflow. Start from scratch again if you want. And we will name this one newsletter workflow number two. Add trigger. And now it's very important. We want to find out if the customer clicked on the link. The prospect still has the tag that tells us we shouldn't contact them. Scroll down a bit and under contact actions, you will see trigger link clicked. We will name this confirm to newsletter. Add filters and then say the trigger link is confirmed. Save trigger. As soon as they click on the button in the email they received, what happens next? We want to remove the previous tag from the subscriber and give them a new one. Subscribe newsletter, remove tag, save action. Then the new tag, confirmed newsletter. We now want to give this to the customer. Click on save and publish at the top right. And now you can be sure that every customer who had the tag confirmed newsletter has successfully completed the double opt-in process. That was all the magic, but I promised to show you where you can see if your trigger link also worked. For this, Go back to marketing, trigger links, and then not on links, but on analyze. Here you can see directly that I tested the link myself once. There's one click on confirm. It worked. I wish you a lot of fun and success with this setup.